Hello and welcome to DAP Radar, your most trusted source for DAP data. So we're on the uh, DAP Radar homepage. We're going to check out rankings, which is going to rank all, all that we are uh, covering. Currently, it's going to rate them, uh, rank them on the number of users over the last 24 hours. In this video, we're going to have a look at games, so or one particular game. So let's have a look at games. And we can see here, um, sitting pretty at the top, is Alien Worlds, which is a um, game running on the Wax blockchain. It's only been around for um, kind of uh, less than two months. Um, we can see in the last 24 hours, it had almost 9,000 uh, daily active unique wallets. Um, so um, it's, it is, uh, you know, it's gone shot straight to the top. So we click on Alien Worlds to get a bit more detail. So this is the page that every DAP that DAP radar covers um, has a little page on it, so we can see in a bit more detail. We can use this to kind of have a kind of see see the incredible growth <laughs> of um, if you just click here we can just look at the number of users so we can see it's pretty much gone straight up since it launched in um, mid December or kind of mid late December um, so let's go and have a look at the actual um, game itself so here we go Dow's in space <laughs> um, pretty cheesy <laughs> sort of 80s uh, <laughs> graphics going on here um, but uh, I've actually logged in here so let's just go and um, look at my account and see what's going on here so as we say um, it is running on the wax blockchain which is um, a version of the EOS blockchain now one advantage of wax is it's very easy to set up wallets so you can set up wallets what they call a cloud wallet using your kind of social media so you can kind of log in with kind of Google um, or you can log in with, with um, lots of different social media networks or I mean you can create your own um, kind of kind of password you know uh, email password solution but um, one of the things about wax is it's quite easy to to create accounts and there's no complicated kind of wallet setup really um, so we can see here um, this is kind of the main hub screen as, as with lots of blockchain games um, there's lots of things still to come uh, with alien world so it's still really the kind of first version of it you could even say it's kind of in beta, really. Um, you can see here these things. So the main the main thing that's going to be launching um, in future is what's called the Thunderdome. So the Thunderdome is where you obviously go and, and battle other people. The, the battling element um, is not there at the moment. So at the moment, it's just like a, a mining sort of element, as you can see here. Um, so this is my um, avatar figure. Um, and um, you basically, at this stage, I've only really started playing, so I'm quite um, um, early in, into the experience. Um, and you basically, at this stage, go out and mine in in the kind of in 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 the uh, alien worlds. <laughs> um, so let's go and have a look um, at mining. So this is very much like an idle game. So an idle game is something where um, you know you're basically set, setting off something in the game that takes a certain period of time, um, and then after that process is ended, you come back and you, there's some reward um, that you get that, that you can then use um, in in the game. So you see here this is um so i've got some land here um this is the land that i am mining and i've got some tools to help me do that um uh, kind of more efficiently um uh, and i've done some mining and now i can claim so the the, the kind of uh, thing you're mining is called uh, tlm and it's actually a a uh, you know a cryptocurrency so um this is what happens in these sort of idle games where basically um uh, you know, it, it, they're not graphically the most exciting, <laughs> but basically I've mined 1.4164 uh, of this token. Um, and now I go back to home and now we can see, um, <laughs> yeah, not a lot has happened really. Um, actually what's happened here is my unstaked balance has increased and I've also got a stake balance here. So if I wanted to, I can take some of those tokens that I've got and I can, um, there's different kind of planets, but if I'm just, I'm just on this, this first one at the moment, so I can go in and stake, um, and um, I've got uh, this. this um, I've got that staked already, and I can just add add the extra ones that I've got, and just confirm, and they'll be that that'll be added to my to my stake. Um, so um, obviously this is very small amount, so it's not really going to get me anywhere. But uh, if you had lots, lot, <laughs> if you had lots, you can get kind of the more staking you have, the more rewards you get. Um, and obviously over time you can go and uh, and you know check out different planets and and, and this sort of stuff. So. Um, so in my inventory, we can kind of get an idea about how the game is going to um, kind of um, develop. So um, some avatars here. So um, I've got three different avatars. When you launch the game, you, you choose one avatar, and I've gone out and bought some more. We can have a look at that. Um, weapons, don't really using them at the moment um, because the uh, 
Thunderdome's not there. Land, I haven't bought any land or acquired any land. Artifacts, nothing there. And then I've got a couple of minions, um, which again, I, this is what you use in the in the Thunderdome. Um, I've got a Grey Peacemaker and some stealthy mercenaries. Um, okay, so it's going up here. So um, a few other things um, you can do, which I haven't done yet, is as you can see here, there's different rarities. Um, so mine are just kind of cheapo ones. Um, and there's this thing called shine. Basically, shine is when you're leveling up um, uh, any of these effectively you know, NFT um, elements. So if you had four, if you had four of the same, you can kind of basically kind of fuse them together to get a a what they call a shine, a shine one, a, a leveled up one. So there's a sort of, sort of little kind of um, kind of role-playing game elements in here. Um, should point out these NFTs are things that uh, you can mine. So if you're lucky. And when you're mining, you don't just get the tokens; you actually mine mine these NFTs. Um, but obviously, at a very low drop rate. <laughs> um, but uh, so for most people, probably what you'll be doing, and certainly what I did, is going to um, to a marketplace. So this is the um, Atomic uh, Atomic Hub. Uh, so this is a marketplace on the Wax blockchain, and you can see here I've selected Alien Worlds, and we can see a whole bunch of of, of, di of different kind of different uh, cards here or, or kind of NFT items so these are these are I, I, I've, I'm look, I've um, uh, ordered this filtered it by price high so people are putting in these silly prices which no one would ever pay um, but you know so there's, there's this jagged spear and someone's trying to sell it for eight thousand one hundred and seventy seven pounds um, which is obviously um, I'm suggesting is a uh, uh, rather too much. I don't know why that's not loading there. But um, you can look at other things. So there's basically these basic different um, uh, up here. Um, so we could look at um, the avatars. So there's these other avatars. This is a male cyborg. Someone trying to sell for um, stupid amounts of money. Um, obviously, we could look at this as the um, lowest prices ones. And these are basically the free ones that you get at the start. People are trying to sell for like two cents. <laughs> um, not a lot of point of that. Um, and you can also, this is a bit more interesting. So people are, you know, people in the game are getting land. Um, but this is the cheapest, remember. So if I wanted to buy a, a land, um, then it's going to cost me the cheapest one is $400. Uh, and the point of buying land is, that, is then you can you can generate, um, you know, uh, people, when people, people are mining on your land, you get a cut of, of what they're mining. So you basically are kind of like a landowner. Um, so if I wanted to buy that, I'd need, uh, I'd need, uh, almost 9,000 wax so the price here in green is the what using the wax token uh, and that's the dollar equivalent at the moment so um so we can start to see with with um with uh alien worlds it's a game that's running on a, a very accessible blockchain wax um so that means it's easy for people to uh, set up accounts um you know at the moment it's not the most exciting uh, game I have to say it's an idle game um and at the moment you know one of the key things people will be interested in doing which is battling you know isn't isn't live yet um, but it, but um, people like this idea. I think of NFT mining. So you're you're doing you're doing some stuff. You're you're mining. Um, obviously, the better if you want to buy out, go out and buy better gear, then you have a higher chance of getting kind of. Uh, obviously, you can mine more, and you have a higher chance of getting um, these NFTs. Um, and you can start to see, um, you know, uh, you know, other people can sort of go. Um, Go in and and kind of uh, create these these higher value NFTs and then try and sell them in the marketplace. So you have people kind of like uh, you know using it as a as as a, a way of trying to make money. Um, so uh, there's kind of lots of w different ways of playing the game, I guess. Let me see here. These people have created these have done lots of leveling up. So they they've made they've made this one a gold a gold version. Um, and obviously they're trying to sell that for for more money. Um, so yeah, so there we go. That is um, Alien Worlds in in the early phases, really, I suppose, of 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 its kind of um, kind of life. Um, but it seems to be attracting uh, uh, a lot of players, I guess, because it is easy to get into. Um, often the problem for games is is um, is keeping their audience. So it can be quite easy to generate a, a lot of um, kind of audience at the beginning when you're a new game and everyone's excited about what's going on. Um, I guess what's interesting will be how, how it can sustain its player base, and I guess particularly that that will come when when the um, the fighting stuff um, launches. So anyway, thanks for watching. This is Dap Radar, where we spend our time looking at the world of DAPs and seeing what's going on, hoping to make sense of it, hoping uh, to educate people <laughs> in in products products they might find and uh, they might enjoy. 
So uh, thanks for watching the video. Please do subscribe to the channel and see you again soon.